Here we are calculating mass density. And we're given some information uh, about the work that this chemist is doing. And he's trying to identify an unknown liquid by measuring its density and comparing its density that he has calculated to known densities. So the chemist has this information here. And the chemist measures the volume of the unknown liquid and the mass of the unknown liquid. And it's going to compare the calculated density values uh, to these to see if perhaps the unknown liquid is one of these liquids. So let's take the information that the chemist is given. And let's list it here in our own list of givens. Well, we are given a volume. Volume is 1.108 liters. We are given a mass. Mass is 694 grams. And that's all the information that we are given. They want us to uh, calculate the density, and we can see that the density value that we need to calculate needs to have these units, grams per cubic centimeter. Well, we have a problem. What is density equal to? Let's also list this formula. Density is just simply the ratio of mass to volume. Density is just simply a ratio of mass to volume. The units of mass can be grams, kilograms. Units of volumes could be liters, milliliters, etc. In this case, we want the units of volume to be cubic centimeters and the units of mass to be grams. Our units of mass is already grams, perfect. But our units of volume are liters. So we need to convert liters somehow to cubic centimeters. That's well, not as hard as you would imagine if you understand that one cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter. So now all of a sudden we only have to convert from liters to milliliters and then we can complete the problem. That should be easy for us. Let's do that conversion here. 1.108 liters. We're just doing a metric prefix conversion. The conversion factor we're going to use is, let's place a one next to milliliters so we can use the shortcut. One milliliters is equal to the meaning of milli liters. What is the meaning of milli? The meaning of milli is 10 to the minus three. Simple as that. So, once we put this in the calculator and we see our units of liters cancels, we have 1,108 milliliters. So now that we have this volume measurement in the units of milliliters, we can plug it into the density equation and get the, the units that we want because we know that a milliliter is equal to a cubic centimeter. So we could just use those interchangeably. So the density is equal to the mass of 694 grams divided by the volume now in milliliters, 1,108 milliliters. Our density would be equal to 0 0.6263 5 and the units grams per milliliter are grams per cubic centimeter because again one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter how many decimal places should we round it to well let's look at the values we we divided this by this we we have three significant digits and here we have or here we have four so our final answer is limited to three so I'll take this calculator answer and round it to three significant digits, which is 0 0.626 units, grams per cubic centimeter. Okay, so we place that here, 0 0.626. Given the data above, is it possible to identify the liquid? Well, when we look, it's not close to chloroform or methyl acetate. 
kind of close to acetone. Let's see if there's a better answer. It's not carbon tetrachloride. Ah, it's really close to pentane. 0 0.626 actually rounds up to 0 0.63. So I would say it is possible and the most likely identity of the unknown liquid is pentane.